and guess who is up? We are getting organized for this new year and for many. The place to begin is the kitchen. It is where Tess is this morning. It's a try it with Tess, her first one of the year. Hi Tess, good morning. Hey, good morning, Olivia. Yeah, you know, we were inspired by Real Simple's article on getting organized for January because it is Get Organized Month. So we're starting with your kitchen and professional organizer. Doesn't that job just sound amazing? Uh, Bridges Connor joining us with some tips and we begin in the kitchen. Mm -hmm. It's all about having everything where you need it, right? Store it where you use it okay. is, is my motto, absolutely. So let's start with the eating area. What would you have around this area? Well, you need um, your glasses, you need your dishes. Okay, okay, so you've already set things up with a homeowner in the cabinets where things should be. Absolutely. So sh they can set the table very easily. Everything nice. is right here. Even the silverware right in the drawer. That's right. See, and I always thought that should be, well, it is close to the dishwasher. You're right it is close well. to the dishwasher. Okay. No, you know, store it where you use it. So you're not going over ah. there and over here to set the table. Okay. They have a nice bar area. Everything that they need uh, you know, for happy hour is just right here. I'd be in this this area a lot. Well, we hang, the girls, <laughs> hang, we hang out in this area. We hang all out right. in this area. Prep work. When you're prepping, cutting everything up, you, sh you want it all in this spot. Exactly. So everything, everything for cutting and prepping is right here. Another quick tip is whenever you set a knife down, the blade always goes away from you. Uh, so or even being safe while we get you organized. All right, pots and pans. This is one of my messiest areas. I do keep it under the stove, but I'm always looking for what I need and end up pulling everything out. So what I tell my clients is vertical is visible and horizontal is hidden. I so it's that. very easy to grab, very easy to put back your, your pots and pans and even lids. Um, can go in something like and this. And where do you find something like this? The container store. Okay. Yeah. It's worth the investment. It is definitely worth the investment, especially if you have lots of pots and pans. Okay. And then obviously you you know you cook around this area. Excuse me, I don't want to hit nope, you in the okay. hip. So everything you need, you know, to cook is right here at your fingertips. So And if you don't have a built-in you can buy caddies that have everything separated. Absolutely, as well. absolutely. And let me just show you you know, another drawer. This is wonderful. So everything is right here at your at your fingertips. It's all the barbecuing or larger tools. Mm -hmm. Love it. Store it where you use it. All Absolutely. Right. Another area you don't think about. Everyone has a coffee maker, whether it's a Keurig or a coffee pot, right? So create a coffee station. Uh, create a coffee station. And you know what? As simple as it sounds, when I go and do consultations, they're amazed at the concept of a coffee station. So everything is right here at your fingertips. So, um, you know, you've, you've got your coffee, you've got your mugs, you've got your sweeteners, um, you've got the sugar. It, everything that you need is right here. You know, she has, you know, the straws and the stirrers and the um, honey. So whatever you need is just right here at your fingertips. So Doing very, it very all wrong because my sugar is with all like my condiments or baking things. So one would think that would be the right way, but no, keep it where keep you use it. Store it where you use store it. Store it where you use it. I Absolutely. love that motto. Bridges, you are amazing. Thank you so much. Bridges has great tips. We'll put all the information on our website at azfamily.com if you'd like to contact her since it is Get Organized Month. So coming up at 845, we're not done yet. We are going to talk about the junk drawer. How many of you guys have one of these? Oh, right? yes. Where everything's just, ah, right? Overwhelming. You're not to. So we'll talk about how to get your junk drawer organized. Well, as long as it's closed, then I guess nobody knows, right? right? <laughs> just stand in front of it. My place needs caution oh, tape. Like, it's yeah. ridiculous. Ladies, thank you. Looking forward to it. Olivia, we got to look. Yes, Once thank again, you, Scott. guilty of all the bad I things. I know. Uh, <laughs> got to get better. I really need you over at my house. <laughs> we also need this. We've all got that drawer yeah. she was talking about. Mm -hmm. You know the drawer you're putting mm -hmm. all the stuff in, mm -hmm. right? Yep. You don't uh, want to go through it. I don't. Actually, it's funny. You put everything in there and then you, you avoid it like right. the plague. It's not useful. The infamous junk drawer that she talked about is today's Try It With Tess. New tips for clearing the clutter out of 2020. We need as much help as we can get to start this year and decade off on the right foot. So Tess, yeah. what do we do next? Just dump the drawer. Just don't even look at it. All right, that's the big question. We, yeah, we all have that drawer, right? Even in this house where everything has already been organized, there is still a junk drawer that has so much stuff. So 
Since January is Get Organized Month, we are here with professional organizer Bridges Connor to talk about where we even start. So I started being like, okay, so should we throw this out, throw this out? You said no. First step is to... Everything, any organizing project, everything has to come out of the space. Okay. And then it has to go through a sorting and a purging process because junk drawers, I mean, we all know we just kind of toss things in. And like the random piece of trident. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I mean, and who knows what we can what find. What is in, that? Exactly. Oh my gosh, this is great. Or the packaging that we can probably toss out, right? Yeah. All right, so we've already started taking some stuff out. We're going to take this stuff out. You've already started purging here because yes. this, all this stuff was inside that same drawer. Yeah. So we've started separating and that's what you did. Yeah. So, so everything, like I said, pretend everything is out of the drawer and then we're going to put like with like, and we're going to go through a purging process. So we keep the scissors together. Um, this is a great little tool. All keys with keys. Um, you know, who knows how old, you know. <laughs> they like gum in this house. They like gum in this house. Prob who knows how old that is. Let's toss that out. Okay, yeah, we're going to toss. toss that. And then, you know, what about all these locks? Okay, if you use the opportunity, if you're going to organize your junk drawer, you know, you've, and you've got all these keys, this is probably ideal because you know. Keep the, it with it. Keep it with it. Store it with it. If you can't find the lock. What it makes no, do? or the key, it makes no sense to keep the lock, so. And you made a good point because you stuff it in your drawer and then you can't find it, so you buy another one and now you have 10,000 locks. Then you have 10,000 locks, exactly. So when everything goes back in, it's, it's gonna be like with like. Okay. Okay, like with like. So we got keys with keys, we've got mints and whatnot mints with and mints. Gum together. Mints and gum, keys. Um, what do you do with all, they have a lot of matchbooks in, in here. What do you do with all that? Do you need all this? Look well, at this, it right? depends upon your There's life. There's another lock. Oh, another it's lock. It's unopened. <laughs> oh, all right. So the key's <laughs> with it. So, you know, it looks like they use um, the matches, so. Okay. Um, you would save a but few? How, save a few, but do you really need, and then also, you know, if this is your, if this is your home for, for matches, if you exceed the boundary, it, you don't need all of those. Uh, okay. So, uh, That's it, another tip that Bridges says. Everything has a home, which I always say that to my kids too. Everything has a home so they know where to put it, right? Where to put it back. Well, they can find it when they need it. And they if they put it back, then the next person can find it when they need it. So very important. Like, like with like. Um, and then purging. Okay, so this is the opportunity. Okay, do gloves really, uh, you know. Really we can maybe use a few. This is what I love. I'm like, what are these? Oh, they're from like when you get flowers or a rose, a single rose, but the homeowner's like, I feel bad throwing it out. Yeah. Could you find a purpose for this? Or this is in the toss. Right. Personally, I would talk to the client <laughs> about, uh, and I don't think that the client has ever used them. <laughs> she, <laughs> she wants to recycle, so we toss these in the recycle. And we toss them in okay. the recycle. Yes, absolutely. We're building our pile. Absolutely. So, as we said, uh, January is go month, which is right. get organized, right? And yes. You, you have to be careful about organizing the right way and finding the professional if you are going to go that way. Yeah, so I'm a past president of NAPO, which is a National Association of Productivity and Organizing Professionals. Okay. So I say that because I want people to realize there really is an organizing authority out there. Um, I'm plugged in on a local level and a national level. So make sure that when you're looking for an organizer, they are a member of NAPO because NAPO. we do abide okay. by a code of ethics and we take what we do very, very seriously. So okay. let's get organized. Well, look, right. we're already tossing some things out, and the homeowner's going to be very happy that she now has a neat junk drawer, guys. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you so much, Thanks. Bridges. Sure appreciate it. So go get organized this month. <laughs> so Tess, then we have Real to... Real Simple, which is uh, owned by our parent company, yeah. the magazine Real Simple. They have a whole spread on getting organized for the new year. We have to rename the junk drawer then because it's organized, right? Yes, there you go. Okay, I'm beginning to really the feel bad drawer. about my setup. The neat drawer. The neat drawer. The neat drawer. Have you been in my neat drawer lately? It's good information, Thanks, Tess. Thanks, Thank you.